I think what's happening today really matters. It is an enormous investment that Mr. Lee is making into this centre. The government is backing it uh, with our own money too. Uh, and I think it's going to lead to huge breakthroughs and great success uh, in terms of medical science and for Britain as well in the future. The biggest challenge that the pharmaceutical industry faces at the moment is coming up with new targets for drug discovery. It's identifying that one in 20,000 protein, which if I modulate it, it's actually going to provide some therapeutic benefit in a patient group or a patient subgroup. That's what the industry has struggled with. I believe what's already happening in Oxford, and now with the Target Discovery Institute and with the Big Data Institute, Oxford is going to be the academic drug discovery center in Europe. I do not believe there is any university in the UK or Europe that can rival Oxford in this space. The Li Kaisheng uh, donation of £20 million today uh, is largely going to be for staff, persuading them that actually it's a hell of a lot more interesting to work out how to determine the causes and the prevention and treatment of disease than to work out which way the financial markets are going. Uh, so, so I think that's one of the aims, is to, you know, to really kick-start a, a major recruitment drive and training in this area. What we've got here is a unique combination of high-skilled research into genetic sequencing linked to very great skills in hardware and software, linked in turn to the NHS patient database. Bring those three things together and you've got a really distinctive contribution that can be made to medical research in Britain as a whole and particularly here in Oxford, this excellent centre. But I'm standing here and it, it's beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? I, it, this is fabulous surrounding. I'm going to tell Peter I want to shift in here. <laughs>